Hi, second graders. Welcome back to phonics. This week, we are spending more time with the magic E, but we are going to be reading some longer words. These words today are going to have two or more syllables. Now, we talked about syllables a couple weeks ago, but a syllable is a part of a word that you read in one push of breath and every syllable has a vowel in it. So if you remember, we spent a lot of time scooping words into syllables and counting how many syllables words had. This week, we're going to talk about words that have syllables that have the magic E. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be scooping those words into syllables first, and then tapping out each syllable, paying attention to that magic E. Now remember, when we see the magic E, in a word or in a syllable, we know that the E is changing the vowel right before it. So there's a vowel, a consonant, and then the magic E. The E is changing the vowel that's right before that consonant and making it say its name with the long vowel sound. If you need a review of the long vowel sounds, you can watch the videos from two weeks ago, or you can click through the slides and listen to the audio on the phonics cards page. But when we hear a long vowel sound, we know the vowel says its name. So let's look at some examples. We're gonna scoop and then tap, okay? Here is our first example. This word is flagpole, flagpole, okay? So if I'm scooping flagpole, I'm scooping flag, pole, flag, pole. This word has two syllables. Now I can tap each syllable. I'm tapping flag, that's the first syllable. Then I'm tapping Pole, pole. I know that the O has to say its name because there's a magic E at the end of that syllable. So the E makes the O say its name. So it's a long vowel O. The E does not change the A in the first syllable. The E only changes the vowel in its own syllable. So it's only going to change the O. The A is a short vowel A. Flagpole. Okay, let's look at another one. Next example is baseball. Let's scoop baseball. Ready? Base ball. Two syllables. Let me tap it out. B a s b all. B ace is the first syllable. I know that the a is going to say a because the e is a magic e that's going to change the vowel sound of the a. It doesn't say a, it says a. And then in my second syllable, I have my glued sound all. B all that's the second syllable so the magic e is sometimes in the first syllable sometimes it's in the second syllable sometimes it's in the third syllable depending on how many syllables there are it can be in any of the syllables okay here's your next example this word is include let's scoop include include okay two syllables let's tap it out i n that's the first syllable k l u d include include okay so i have a magic e at the end that's how i know that the u in include says oo says a long vowel u sound the e does not change the i because it only changes the vowel in its syllable so since the e is in the second syllable it's only going to change the u right before the consonant i is a short vowel i include okay let's try some together first the first word is when you take a deep breath in and then breathe out. What do we call that? When you breathe out, you exhale. Exhale. All right, let's try to spell that. Ready? First, we're going to scoop. Exhale. Exhale. I'm hearing two syllables. Let's tap it out. Exhale. Exhale. Okay. One at a time. Let's, read, let's tap the first syllable first. X. E X, that's our first syllable. Ale. Okay, I hear the. That's an H. A long vowel A. L. And since it's a long vowel A, I need to have that magic E at the end to make the A say its name. So here's exhale. I'm going to scoop my syllables. Exhale. And then I'm gonna mark up my magic E and show that it is changing the vowel right in its syllable. It's making the A say A. We don't say exhale, we say exhale. Exhale, take a deep breath. 
All right, let's try another one. If you've ever seen a jar of peanut butter or anything canned or anything that you might have in your fridge, you might notice that there is a date written somewhere on it. This is the date that this peanut butter is going to expire expire so this is good until october expire when something expires it goes bad and we shouldn't eat it anymore expire let's tap out or no let's scoop expire ready expire expire two pushes of breath two syllables let's tap x p i r okay one syllable at a time first syllable is x x beginning the same way that exhale did, and then p i r okay, p, p, i, r, r, and to make the i say i, I need to have the magic e at the end, expire, okay, let's scoop, expire, expire, and I'm going to mark up my magic e, because the e makes the i say i, there it is. All right, let's do one more. Somebody that wears shoes like this and goes running and is really active, we would say that person is an athlete. Athlete. Let's tap out athlete. Ready? A f l e a t. Okay, scooping. Athlete. Athlete. Two syllables. A f l e a t. Okay. Let's spell one at a time. Ready? First syllable is ath. A. I hear that digraph T H. Now the second syllable. L E T. L E T. And to make the E say E, I need to have a magic E at the end. Okay. Let me scoop my two syllables. Athlete. Scooped. Mark up my magic E. The E makes the E say E. The A stays short vowel sound. Athlete. Awesome job, friends. So today, when you are spelling words, oops, this week, make sure you are scooping, tapping, and spelling. Okay? Don't forget to mark up that magic E and show us how you're scooping those syllables. I hope you enjoy this week's activities, and I will see you soon for more phonics. Bye, second grade.